Lovely Shropshire. Best place for observing the night sky and enjoying a lovely jacuzzi and going for the local produce. I don't know how local these are, but they sell them locally. The Mediterranean continental breakfast after a very fruitful night of observation. This is a Bresser astroscope, uh, spotinoscope. You can call it spotinoscope, but I use it for astronomy and I had my best views of the moon with this. Uh, this is a lens cap, I remove it, you can see. The cap can also come off and the dust cap, uh, shield and uh, dew shield, put it forward, put it back. Uh, the good thing about it is that it's a binocular, so two very good ED means uh, upper chromatic, 21 millimeter. Uh, fully multi-coated eyepieces and you look through it you have the best stunning view I could see moon in 3d when I was looking at it and I found a lot of interesting features on the moon geological features and uh, the telescope has two focusing knob from both sides of it so you can reach easy and it comes with a lovely beautiful box the, the Monfretto uh, is a good stand for this. I got it separately and uh, really sturdy. Makes it really sturdy and good. And uh, the telescope, everything can be moved. The eyepieces come out, the binary viewer comes up, comes out, and you can touch the, put the telescope in this box that I'm showing you. This is a yeah four inch telescope refractor. Mm. It's around eight hundred fifty. You can find it sometimes six hundred fifty or seven hundred fifty. I got it from the auction site. really worth every penny. I had my best, best views of the sky with this. And Monfretto, worth every penny. I think it's a M1 Monfretto. Is it? Yeah, it's one of the best. I've never seen such a sturdy, sturdy mount like this one. This was a perfect mount. I had some mounts in the past. The, the tripod, sorry. Uh, photo photographic tripod. This was one of the best. And the head of it, the body of it is so heavy, it's almost the same weight as that uh, meat tripod. Uh, let me show you the box. Okay, Bresser Astroscope comes in this box. So everything fits in here and easy to carry, safe and easy to carry. Every penny worth paid for this. I think I got it for it's quite cheap actually. You cannot find this is out of production, they don't sell it because such good value for such a you know this too much too much telescope for money. And uh, I don't think they could make enough money on this, so they have discontinued it. One of the best telescopes I have, the best, uh, yeah, binary viewer telescopes that I have. Perfect for viewing everything. I'll put it back now and I will show you how it is. Eyepiece, very good quality eyepiece. It's so impressive. I love these eyepieces. 21, it completely comes in focus with this. You can merge the two images easily. You may get a binocular, binary viewer. 
but they may not come into fo uh, focus in your eyes. They will not merge the two images. This is perfect, well designed, well engineered. And now the binary viewer, I've removed the eyepieces from the binary viewer, binary viewer. And the uh, eyepieces are in my hand. I put the caps back. I put also them in the bolt case. And then I will remove the binary viewer and put the caps on them and the telescopes will be coming off the mount. That's an uh, astroscope. Let me do that. These are the two eyepieces. They now go to their place. Well protected. Now it's the time for the binary viewer. I take the cap for the binary viewer's end and one of them is for the scope's end, telescope's end. The binary viewer, I just turn this and it comes loose and then I can separate the binary viewer. Okay, now the binary viewer came off and I put the cap on the end of the telescope part and one on this end of the binary viewer. Binary wear now has this cap, and I'm going to put the cap for the uh, Bresser astroscope also. As you can see, it goes here. So every optical part is protected. Binary wear is now separate, and uh, you can use it for anything else if you have the right attachment. And the astroscope is also done, ready to go to the box. I'll put the binary viewer first and I'll show you the telescope also how it goes. Okay, the binary viewer is now in its compartment, staying safely there. And the next thing is to put the telescope back in the box. Now the Bresser astroscope is ready to go to its box case and the control and that shows that you can buy it for this price and if they have it yet it's 110 that's exactly four inch four inch a little bit more than four inch that's for a refractor that's a good price and i can say that i got it cheaper and that is all all that you need for this uh, Astroscope, presser astroscope to work. All that you need. It's really heavy, this. That tripod. Really sturdy. You need that with this. For the lonely nights, you cannot do astronomy without having a pot belly peak around here. This is the lovely one, Maisie. She has her ornaments. As you can see, the Monfretto has now taken the presser and uh, killer telescope. And as you can see, the moon is visible. So, I must say that the views through this. It's so amazing. It's 3D. You can see the bulge of the moon coming towards you. This mount is really sturdy. And this telescope, this mm, Bresser astroscope, deserves such a heavy duty. You feel that it is a stable now. I don't like any of those flimsy uh, tripods that I've seen with others. This is perfect for this setup. I must say that I never had such a comf comfortable uh, observation. This is, the moon is at the right angle, is uh, right angle, I mean the correct comfortable angle. The binary viewer is perfect, the traffic is sturdy, the view is amazing. And yeah, I'm sitting on a chair and just observing. Just so easy. No eye strain anymore. <laughs> These are ED glass. Uh, 21 millimeter 
presser eyepieces perfect for this as you can see I have some telescopes but this is the most comfortable one I can sit here for hours and look with a binary viewer so comfortable it's probably one of the most used ones will be hopefully and this uh, Monfretto tripod is so sturdy, no vibration. It's so natural to look with two eyes. <laughs> you just can sit there and just enjoy instead of struggling with the view and everything else. The eyes of the, the uh, <laughs> binocular of it looks like a ET. As if laughing, I'll be so smiling. <laughs> um, in years of observation, probably this is one of the most comfortable uh, sessions I've ever had. I just can sit here for hours and look at the moon. Although it is a full moon, you will not see much. But I'm yet seeing with this telescope, it's so good, this spotting scope. Presser. Uh, astroscope uh, 1 1 10 that's more than four four inch four and a half inch okay. it takes so much beautiful light oh it's so comfortable the view is as crisp as it can be in anything there's a little bit of uh, uh, chromatic abrasion which is normal but anyway the eyepieces are excellent, it shows the best. Eyepieces are really.